Hello, gonna be filming a home workout tonight. You just need a light set of dumbbells for this one. Okay, we'll get started right away with our warm up. In the center of the mat, those arms will reach up. We lean to the left, come back through center to the right, and come back. We'll go into a heel scoop at the bottom. We'll go for four totals of so two each side. And we're going to widen that stance here, alternating lateral lunges. You'll come down and reach for that opposite foot. Two more here. Last one. We're going to come back through center. Wide legged forward fold here. Hands come to the ground. You're going to bring that right arm up, opening up through the chest. Come back down, other side. Left arm comes up and come back through center. Let's walk those hands over to the left. Back through center, in behind, reaching those hands behind the legs. Back through center to the right. And slowly walk back. Let's heel toe those feet in. Slowly bring the hips down. Low yoga squat, driving those knees out with the elbows. We'll raise to that forward fold here, nice and easy. And bring those hips down one more time. Slowly come back up, and we come up to a full stand from here, a few shoulder rolls back, and forwards. Those arms are going to come up overhead, we're going to drive the knees up here. Core is engaged as those knees come up. Four, three, two, and one. From here we're going to go into um, a hip opener into a squat. Okay, so we're alternating sides, you open up through that hip. Wide-legged squat. Just opening up through that hip. Last two here. And one more. Bring that stance in a little bit more narrow. Right into squat with a calf raise. So you bring those heels up. One more here, and we're gonna go back to our high knees a little bit higher this time. Just starting to get that heart rate up. Four, three, two, and one. Arms extend out, pulse backwards here, opening up through the chest, flip those thumbs down. Two, and one. We're gonna come to the back of the mat. Those arms will reach up. Fold forward, walk to that high plank position. Two spider climbers, so the knee comes outside the elbow. One, two, walk back up. You're just doing one climber each side here. Fold forward, we walk out. One, two, walk back. Arms come up. One, two, and back. We have one more inchworm here. At the bottom, we'll go for 10 climbers, okay? Five each side. We walk out, knee comes up outside the elbow. Three, four, five, and five. Send those hips back to downward dog. Pedal out those heels. Float that left leg up. Bring the knee to nose, hold here. And float back one more time. Knee to nose, bring that leg through for a low lunge. Your back knee's gonna come down. Elbow comes down to ankle. We open up and rotate. Last one. Hands come back down to frame that foot. Let's come through that high plank. Ten plank jacks. We pop those feet out, or you tap side to side. Three, two, and one. Send the hips back. Downward dog. That right leg will come up. Knee to nose. Hold here. Pull back one more time, knee to nose, bring that leg through, low lunge, back knee will drop, elbow comes down to ankle, we open up and rotate. Slowly come back through center, back to that high plank, and we'll just walk those hands back towards the feet, pause in that forward fold again, let yourself hang here, and slowly come back up. 
We're gonna do a few more sumo squats here, so wide-legged stance, down and up. Those knees are tracking in line with the toes. Let's add a little pulse at the bottom. One, two, and up. Last three here. Two, one more. And come back up. We'll finish off with some cardio. Just jogging on the spot to start. And do some butt kicks. You bring those heels up. Four, three, two, and one. Cross jack to extend the arms out. Four, three, two, and one. Regular jacks now. Add a little uh, lift there with my workout. That's okay. I'm going to have to stitch these together. Four, three, two, and one. You can grab some water now. We'll get started with our first set, which I just filmed and I, it wasn't filming and I thought it was. That's okay. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're going to get started with is a Tabata set. Okay, but with our Tabata set, we're going to be doing a second exercise during the rest period. Okay, so first one that we'll do, we have two options. For the first 20 seconds of each minute, we'll go two jacks. Four mountain climbers, or sorry, four high knees. One, two, three, four. That's exercise number one. During that 10 second period, what we're going to be doing, we're gonna get nice and low here, okay? You're gonna go for a squat calf raise. We reach for the opposite foot with that squat during that 10 second period, okay? Then exercise number three, we'll go for a jack to a squat. Up, squat, okay? So two jumping jack variations, and then we'll do that squat during the 10 second period. Okay, once we get started here, this will make a ton of more sense. In four, three, two, let's go with our tabata. We start, two jacks, four high knees. We're just trying to get that heart rate up here to start. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ride those knees up. And come on down. We squat, calf raise. Down and up. So you reach into that opposite foot. Last one. And we switch, jack to squat. Up, squat. We're here for four minutes, okay? Typical Tabata set, but we're doing an exercise instead of resting. Last one here. Let's stay low. Squat, calf raise. Down, elevate those heels. Two, last one. And switch to our jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. One, two. You bring those knees up with a little bit of speed. Last one, finish off those high knees, and back to our squat. Down, up. Last one. And jumping jack to squat. No rest here. Four minutes. Last two, one more. Jack to squat, right to our toe touch. Down, heels. Last two, one more. And we switch to jacks, four high knees. We're halfway through this to battle. One, two, one, two, three, four. Where are we gonna go? And switch back to that squat, down, little calf raise. Last one here, and jack to the squat. Sink low into that squat. One more here, jack, squat. Back to that toe touch, calf raise. Down, 
stand up. Last minute here, let's go. Drive those knees up. One, two, three, four. One, two. Five seconds here. And switch back to that squat. We have our last round here. One more. And come back up. Last 30 seconds of this Tabata. We're going to finish off with that squat toe touch. Jack to squat. One more. Stay in that squat. Okay, we come down. Cat phrase. Last two, one more rep, and rest. The next thing that we're going to be doing is a set of intervals, so three different exercises for 30 seconds a piece. Um, with these exercises, what we're gonna be starting with, okay, we'll grab our weights to start. It's gonna be a curl with a press. We come down to a high plank, plank jack, come back up. You curl, press, straighten the arms overhead, come down, jack the feet out, and back up. That's exercise number one. Number two, we're gonna grab those weights, going for a shoulder extension, we extend out. One arm at a time here, okay? If you have really light weights at home, you just wanna go both, you can do that as well. I only do it one at a time, okay? That's exercise number two. And then number three, we're gonna come down here. Okay, this next one is a bit of a combo move for the core. Collapse it up right, collapse it up left. Then we sit up to that boat position, back down. Right, left, sit up to that boat, and down, okay? We're gonna get started right away with that burpee modification, okay, grabbing our weights. In four, three, two, and let's go. We curl, press, come down, plank jack at the bottom, back up. You can always step back to that high plank, jack, back up as well. You don't have to hop. We're here for 30 seconds, 10 more. Curl, press, and let's come back up. Turn to face. That shoulder extension, you extend one arm at a time. We're staying low here, extending that leg. Out, out. Whew. Trying to keep those arms up at shoulder height. Last 10. 30 seconds feels very long for this one. Three, two, and one. Drop those weights, come on down. We're going to put those clap sit-ups, okay? Right, left. And you sit up to that boat, come back down. We're coming to that boat position with control. Okay, we're not just walking through this. Bringing those shins up so that they're parallel with the ground and come back down. Three seconds here. And rest. 15 second rest here. And we'll go into round two with that modified burpee. Three, two, and let's go. Curl, press, down to that plank jack, back up. Halfway. Curl, press, straighten those arms overhead. Less than 10. One more rep here. And come back up. Stay nice and low. We extend right and left. Keeping those arms up at shoulder height, you straighten that arm out as you tap the foot. Ten seconds here. We come back down on the mat for that core. 
four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Clap set up right, left. You sit up to that boat, back down. Driving those knees into the chest as the hands come together. Ten seconds here. Up and down. Let's finish off this last breath with that boat. And rest. All right, one more round here with these three, and then we'll mix it up. In four, three, two, back to that curl and press. We come down, jack the feet. Curl, press, down to that high plank. Ten seconds here. One more. And up to that shoulder extension, round three. Straightening that arm. We're staying low here. Halfway there. Less than 10. Three, two, and one. Drop those weights. Come back down. Right, left, into that boat, back down. If you want to just stick with those clap sit ups here, coming to that boat, I mean, that'd be great for your tailbone. You can always do that. 10 seconds here. Last full rep here. We come up, down, and rest. All right. We're gonna go into an EMOM next. So an EMOM is every minute on the minute. We'll do each move for 20 seconds, okay? So that way we're transitioning at the same time. You're not trying to get a certain number of reps. Just trying to pick a pace that's sustainable for the entire six minutes is how long we're doing this EMOM, okay? So six routes. First move that we'll be doing we're going to go into um, that squat position, okay? So we're gonna come down, you pulse at the bottom of the feet together. So just a sumo pulse jack here, wide-legged stance. One, two, feet together. That's the first 20 seconds. Second 20 seconds, four high knees. One, two, three, four. Down to high plank, back up. If you wanna take this nice and slow, you can just do two high knees instead. We walk down and walk up. Or if you just want to stay with the high knees, you can do that as well, okay? The last move that we'll do is just hold that low plank at the bottom for the last 20, okay? Six minutes here. We're going to get started right away with that sumo pulse jack in three, two, and one. Set number three here. Six minute EMOM. We're doing 20 seconds for each exercise. I'll let you know when to switch. We pulse at the bottom here. One more squat and come to the top. Those four high knees, high plank, and back up. I'm like a high knee half burpee here. Trying to pick a pace. You can hold the whole 20 seconds. Last one. And let's stay down, come down to that low plank, hold here for 20, then we're back up on our feet. If you need to bring the knees down, that's fine, just make sure you're pressing the hips forwards here so that the core is still engaged. Three, two, and one. Back up on your feet, sumo pulse jack. One, two, feet together. more squats. Last one. And we switch. Four high knees. 
with the bottom of a burpee. Driving those knees up. Five seconds here. Last one. And let's come down. Hold that plank. We're two rounds done here, four to go in this Imam. Keeping that bum down. Round three is starting in three, two, and one. Come back up. See it together. One, two. Wide legged stance for that squat. And if you ever don't want to hop, you can always come down with a calf raise instead. One, two, up, down. And let's switch back to our high knees. Drive those knees up. One, two, three, four. Down and back. Last one here, stay down at the bottom. Low plank, hold here. We're halfway through the Z-Mom. Again, if you want to rest during this time and not plank, that's fine as well. Round four is starting in three, two, and one. Come back up. Sumo pose. One, two, up. Halfway through this email, we have three minutes left. Two more squats. Last one. And switch to our high knees. One, two, three, four. Down and back. And let's stay down here, walk to that low plank. We have two rounds left. Squeezing those glutes as you're in that plank. Round four is starting in five seconds. Three, two, and one, back up. Feet together, one, two at the bottom. My ponytail's not cooperating right now. 10 seconds here. Last squat. And switch. Halfway there. Last one here. Come down to that plank at the bottom. Second last plank here. Our last round is coming up in 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Come back up. Last round of this EMA. In one, two. Drive those knees out. Couple more squats here. Last three, two, one more. And we switch. Last round of these tiny burpees. One, two, three, four. Down and back. Last two. One more. We'll stay down at the bottom. Hold that plank. Last 20 seconds here. 10 to go. Trying to keep those knees off the ground. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Whew. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do here um, I'm going to go into a uh, squat lunge set. Okay, this one's all going to be body weight as well. And then we'll get into a little bit more upper body. 
Um, for the squat lunge set, just follow along with me, okay? I usually do them to the beat of the music. Um, this song is about six minutes in length, okay? So it's long, um, five or six minutes. And we're gonna start with just basic squats, then we'll do our left leg. We'll go back to squats, right leg, okay? So we're doing reverse lunges and curtsy lunges before we move on, okay? In four, three, two, and let's go. We squat down and up. You squeeze the glutes at the top of that squat. Hopefully you can hear that music, okay? Down and up. We're gonna add that calf raise, down. Heels pop at the top. Down, up. Last two here. One more. And we're gonna go with the left leg first. Reverse lunge and up. Back and up. So that knee comes close to the ground. It doesn't actually touch. Which have 90 degrees in those legs. And let's stay down at the bottom here. We pulse in that lunge. Five, four, three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna reverse lunge to knee drive, okay? You're bringing that knee up. Working on that balance. Last two. And one, come back up, reverse. You're gonna kick, so you bring that heel up from the side, it looks like this. You just tip forward through the hips, bringing that left heel up. Two, and one, bring that foot up. We're going reverse, curtsy, up. Reverse, curtsy, so you tuck that leg in behind. Reverse, curtsy, up. Come back up, we're going into a sprinter here. You're driving that knee up. Last two, one more. We're gonna go just into a curtsy, back and up. So we're getting into the right glute here. As you tuck that leg in behind. Two. And one, we're gonna come back down. We pulse in that curtsy. Good job. Just need to see my song. Option to pick up that back heel here. Four, three, two, and one. Come back through center. We squat it out. We're gonna reset here. Down and up. We're gonna go into that calf raise again, but add the arms, we come down. Those arms come up overhead as you elevate the heels. Down and up. Last two, one more here. Right leg's gonna go back. So whatever side you didn't do is going for the lunges. Make sure you come to the same side here. A lot of lunges. Back and up. And let's stay down here, we pulse in that lunge. Four, three, two, and one. Let's drive the knee up. Reverse lunge with that knee drive. Good job. Last two, one more here. We're going to that kick, so reverse kick. You're bringing that heel up, back. Tip forward through the hips. Elevate that right heel, just high enough to engage that glute. And come back up, reverse curtsy up. So just moving that foot at the back of that lunge, reverse curtsy up. Last one, we're gonna tip forward through the hips, sprinters here, we're driving that right knee up, option at the hop, or keep that leg down and just drive that knee up. Two, and 
and one, we tuck the leg in behind, curtsy on that right side. Back and up. Good job. Two, one, come down, we pulse. Staying in that low lunge. Four, three, two, one, let's pick up that back heel if you can. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna finish off here with surrenders. We come down, down, up, knee drives. The knee that you drive up becomes that first knee that goes down. If this doesn't feel great, you're gonna go for two taps instead. One, two, and then a knee drive, okay? So just a squat tap. Almost there. Let's add a little hop to that knee drive. Down, down, up. Drive. A couple more reps here. Last three. Two more here. One. And done. All right. Give those legs a shake. That was a six minute song. Entirely lower body. Um, from here, what we're going to get into, okay, I'm gonna go into an upper body set, okay? So grabbing those weights if you have them, um, and we'll get started right away. This one will also go to the good music, then we'll get that heart rate up with some intervals after. Okay. Grabbing those weights, we step side to side, bicep curl. We're gonna to switch to a high pull now. Bring those weights up under the chin, elbows come up, we tap side to side. Four, three, two, and we'll, let's go low, we punch side to side. We're gonna add a chest press here, so we go right, left, both. Pressing those weights away, you try and straighten the arm. Out. One, two, both. Last one here. And those weights are gonna come down. Squat, curl, press. You bring the weights between your legs. Down, curl, press. Last one here, let's stay up at the top. We're gonna press to kick back. Up to forward through the hips. Bring those pinkies up. Two, one more here. We're gonna stay back, we tap side to side, just with that tricep extension. Bringing those pinkies up. You're not swaying the weights here. Four. Three, two, and one. We're gonna row, rear fly. You knit those shoulder blades together. Two, one more. And come back up, side step squat. We rack those weights to shoulder height. Bring those weights up as you squat. One more here, and come back up from here. We're going to a high pull, lateral raise. We're tapping side to side, this one's not fast. Pull to raise. And we're gonna sink down here into that sumo. 90 degree raise, you're bringing those elbows up to shoulder height. And let's bring those weights down. We open, close, one heel pops at a time. Good job, we're staying in this low sumo. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna serve up and out. So you sumo down as those elbows come into the rib cage. We sink down and up. Last one here, we're gonna stay up at the top, 
shoulder extension and press. Almost there. And rest. We can drop those weights. Um, we're gonna get into another cardio set here, okay? So for our cardio set, we're gonna do another Tabata um, with the three moves. So we do one move during that 10 second period, and then the two 20 second periods, we do uh, another, okay? Um, so no rest here, it'll be four minutes straight of work. The first exercise that we're going to do, okay? Bit of a combo move. We're gonna come down, okay, into that tabletop position. I'm gonna kick the left leg back. So we kick back, you bring that leg through, we drive the knee up. Then we come back down to table. Kick, drive, up, okay? That first 20 seconds will be that move on the left. Then we'll do the right for the second 20 seconds. In between those, so for the 10 second period, what you're going to be doing here is just running it out with mountain climbers as fast as you can, okay? So really focusing on getting that heart rate up while still focusing on the lower body, okay? I'm gonna start down here on the ground. We'll have our left leg going back first, okay? Four minute Tabata set here in four, three, two, let's go left leg back, kick, drive. You can add a little hop here, kick, drive, up. If you find this is a lot of pressure on your knee, just take it a little bit slower, okay? You can always put a towel under that knee. And let's come back down, run it out with some mountain climbers. We have our right side next. Three, two, and one, come back down. Right leg kicks back, drive that knee up, the left knee comes through. We're not just flailing that leg back, okay? So this is a controlled um, reverse kick. Bring that knee through. This is kind of like a modified sprinter. And come back down, drive those knees up. 10 seconds of mountain climbers. Three, two, and one. Left leg back, reverse, drive up. Straightening that leg. And come back down, right into our mountain climbers. Five seconds here, then we go to the right. Three, two, and one, right leg back. Reverse, drive, up. Woo, we're working on that balance here. Last one. Drive, come back down, run it out. Mountain climbers, you're halfway through this Tabata. Three, two, and one. Left leg back, reverse. Drive, that right knee comes through. Good job. And let's come back down, run it out, mountain climbers. Three, two, and one, come back down. Right leg, reverse, knee, up. One more here, reverse, knee, up, come back down, run it out, mountain climbers. For this last round, if you just wanna do surrenders instead of the reverse kick, you can do that. Three, two, and one, I'll show you. We drive that knee up, we're alternating legs here, okay? If you're switching to that surrender, down, down, up, drive. Whew. Good job. And come on down, run it out, mountain climbers. We have one Tabata round left. Three, two, 
and one. Let's finish off those surrenders. Down, down, up, knee drive. Good job. It's a lot on the knees. Driving those legs up. One more surrender. Down, down, up, knee drive. Come on down, run it out. Last 10 seconds of those mountain climbers. Four, three, two, and one. All right. We are going to do one final set here, okay? So what we're gonna be finishing off with is a, um, a three minute finisher, okay? Focus on getting that heart rate up and a little bit of core, okay? So I feel like I haven't used the weights a whole lot today, but arms are a little sore. Um, what we're going to be doing, our first exercise, I will grab the weights. We're gonna go into a weighted jack. So one weight or two is up to you, up and out. That will be exercise number one. So I'm straightening those arms, pressing that weight away. That's exercise number one. Again, if you don't want to hop, we tap right and left, okay? That's number one. Number two, what we'll go into, we're gonna get nice and low, okay? Into that sprawl position, but with this sprawl, we're gonna come down into a beast, okay? So we come low, we're gonna come back. You sink the bum close to those heels, we come back up, okay? So we're saying low here, we come back to beast, we come to that squat, back and up. If you want to come up to a full stand and then come back down to release some pressure off the knees, you can do that as well. So it'll be 30 seconds of each of those, okay? Then our last move that we will do, we're gonna come down onto our backs here, okay? Alternating V up, I reach for that opposite foot. We go right and left, then you go for a straight leg sit up, okay? So three minutes here, our last big push, and then we'll be done. All right. In four, three, two, grab that weight. One or two, it's up to you. Up and out. We're straightening those arms. We're here for 30 seconds apiece. We're going through it twice. So three minutes straight. Good job, five seconds to go. Last one, up and out. We're gonna switch. We come down to that beast, we come back up. Option to stand or add that hop. We come back, sink that bum towards the heels. So we're not locking up the knees at all here. Should be feeling that beast in those quads. Last one, and come on down. Going through those V-ups, right, left, to a straight leg sit-up. If you want to just stick with the V-ups or the straight leg sit-ups, you can do that. Reaching forward, touching those toes. Last one here. Then we come back up for that weighted jack and grab that weight again right into it. A minute and a half left here. Up and out. Straightening those arms. Good job, 10 seconds. Let me go back to that burpee with a beast. Last one, up and out. Come on down, we sink low. Send those hips back. Again, if you're not adding that hop, you're just coming up into that low squat position and right back to that beast. Whew. One more here. And let's flip over, finishing off. Last, whoops, 30 seconds of that core. Right, left, straight leg sit up. Reach those toes. Ten 
10 seconds here. Let's try and get two more reps. Last rep, right, left, straight leg, and rest. Whew. All right. From here, we're just gonna sink those hips back for our child's pose. Extend those arms long. Slowly shift the hips through, coming into a cobra, stretching out that core, and press those hips back. We're just gonna bring the hands together over the head here to get into those triceps. And slowly release, come on up. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that one. I'm gonna try and film another one on Friday. Thank you so much and have a great night.